What is up, guys? Welcome to another Behind the Curve Reacts. As always, if you enjoy the kind of content I'm putting out, feel free to like, comment, subscribe down below, share with your friends, all that good stuff. But today we have got something a little different. Uh, this is going to be a song that I have already heard, um, but performed by Aaron Tveit. Uh, this is going to be popular from the Wicked soundtrack, an incredibly well, popular song. Uh, I'd say that one and probably No Good Deed and Defying Gravity are like the three big songs from the Wicked soundtrack that everybody listens to. Uh, personally, I am not a huge fan of Wicked. I think I've said this before on the channel. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of Adina Menzel's voice or Christian Genowith's voice. So, I mean, they are the two leads, so it wasn't quite my cup of tea. Um, but Aaron DeVate, I, I, I do enjoy. Like, I really liked him in uh, what I've seen from Catch Me If You Can. He did a really good job. Um, he did a really good job in a Broadway Backwards, I think, or a Miscast that I watched as well. Uh, I didn't love him in Grease Live when he played Danny Zuko, but that's fine. You know, like, tastes differ. I understand. Uh, but yeah, I am really excited for this. And Popular is a song that, uh, at least when Christian Channel sings it, it might just be her really high kind of grating on your ears voice. Um, but yeah, it does, it does get kind of up there. So I'm excited to see how Aaron Tveit does it. And what the arrangement's gonna be. I think in the thumbnail, I just saw like a piano and a guitar and him. So I'm expecting something different, probably something a little bit slowed down, but something that is gonna be great. Aaron, I got high hopes. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get into it. Wicked Studio Sessions, that's awesome. Whenever I see someone less fortunate than I And let's face it, who isn't less fortunate than I <laughs> My tender heart tends to start to bleed And when someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over I know, I know exactly what they need And even in your case Though it's the toughest case I've yet to face don't worry, I'm determined to succeed. Follow my lead, and yes, indeed, you will be popular. You're gonna be popular. I'll teach you the proper ploys when you talk to boys Little ways to flirt and flounce I'll show you what shoes to wear, how to fix your hair Everything that really counts to be popular I'll help you be popular You'll hang with the right cohorts You'll be good at sports Know the slang you've gotta know So let's start, cause you've got an awfully long way to go don't be offended by my frank analysis Think of it as personality dialysis Now that I've chosen to become a palacist Or an advisor, there's nobody wiser Not when it comes to popular I know about popular And with an assist from me To be who you'll be Instead of dreary who you were Or there's nothing that can stop you From becoming popular Lar, la, 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 la. We're gonna make you pop, you blur. When I see depressing creatures with unprepossessing features, I remind them on their own behalf to think of celebrated heads of state or especially great communicators did they have brains or knowledge don't make me laugh they were popular <laughs> please it's all about popular it's not about aptitude it's the way you're viewed so it's very true to be very very popular like me And though you protest your disinterest, I know clandestinely you're gonna grin and bear it, your newfound popularity. La, la, la. 
la la you'll be popular just not quite as popular as me oh my god wow uh okay ben cone the arranger oh my god that was awesome that is probably the best rendition of popular from wicked that i have ever heard and it was so different too that that was great i am so happy that i watched that uh let's go ahead and get big yeah i would 100 percent watch this show if aaron debate played glinda uh, I'm pretty sure that's the character, because this was this was fantastic. This was so good. And honestly, when I was like, when I first saw it, uh, like the little link on YouTube, I was like, man, I think this is going to be like another like comedy cover, like some of the Fifty Four Below stuff, or some of the miscast, or some of the Broadway backwards, where they you know gender swap it, and it's just kind of silly and over the top, and really good, but. This was so not that. Like, this was just excellent. This was incredibly well done. Like, the, the piano player, the, the arranger, oh, my goodness. I need to listen to more stuff that he has done. Because that, yeah, that was so different from original popular. Yet, like, the thing that I really loved about it, about the arrangement more than anything, was that acoustic guitar. Like, it really wasn't that loud. It wasn't overpronounced or anything. It was still definitely Aaron's song and the piano. But just that tiny little acoustic guitar, like, segment, it added so much to the song for me. It added so much texture. It added so much, like, what is this? Like, this just, it sounded so unbelievably good. Like, I really hope that, that guy has, uh, has arranged more things, like, for Broadway. Like, I, I really gotta look up that guy, because he was great. Obviously, so was Aaron. Like, Aaron was... Like, Aaron has got such an incredible voice for Broadway. Like, he's got so much power, yet so much control over it. And he can go from, like, full belt to that just soft, beautiful, like, you know, take you home kind of... kind of, kind of voice. And it's so cool. Like, it's, it's like Aaron Tveit and Jeremy Jordan are like cut from the same cloth of Broadway excellence. And it's so cool. Like, if those two people, if Aaron and Jeremy Jordan, have ever done anything together, please link me to that down in the comments. Because I would love to see it. Because they are, yeah, they're both so talented. And they both just seem like they're having so much fun. Even in this, which was definitely a more serious uh, well, maybe not serious, but, you know, not like a silly performance. Uh, yeah, I mean, Aaron still had that, just that, that smile on his face, that look of just having fun, which brings a performance to a whole different level for myself. And I think I saw that, uh, Aaron did at least one more song from Wicked. I think it was Defying Gravity. Uh, maybe him and one other person, like a duet. So I might have to check that out too. But yeah, as far as covers from Wicked go, it's this and then Super Fruits, Defying Gravity, uh, Wicked thing. Uh, yeah, they were both amazing. They were both great. And it really makes me wish I could get over my not love of Christian Chenoweth and Adina Menzel's voice. Uh, I don't know, maybe I have to listen to a different cast recording. But, or I can just tweet at Aaron and see if he just wants to cover the entire soundtrack. Uh, maybe. Uh, Aaron, if you're watching, please do that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this was wonderful. This was great. I love that Broadway actors are doing this. They will go and, yeah, not, not do it on stage, but just do it to cover. Just for, just for fun. Just for S's and G's. And not only is it a lot of fun, it, you know, really conveys in the video, but it's also so good. And that is, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, that's what I got, guys. If you loved it as much as me, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, if you just thought it was okay, let me know that as well. I always love to hear dissenting opinions. Uh, otherwise, I will see you all in a reaction incredibly soon.